My name is Diego Romero. I am part of the Communications 263 uh, 9 a.m. class, Wednesday and Friday. And this is my International Communication Advice and Generative AI Applications video. We're uh, video. First thing we're gonna do is take a look at uh, at my scenario. Then we shall see what we put into ChatGPT. Then we'll see what uh, what ChatGPT advised us. Then we'll take a look at my own article that I found very interesting. Finally, taking the main points of what what uh, both articles said comparing them um, taking the positive what I enjoyed from both then we'll take a look of how I would change my input to chat GPT to kind of get a different response for this video I decided to go the, the business route and I am a business management business management major for my future I plan on potentially having uh, my own company and so for this video, I decided to make that possible. I made a fake scenario where I am a business older, uh, sorry, business owner, and I am taking my manufacturing company overseas. The prompt that I gave AI is that I am a business owner moving my manufacturing company to China. And I asked AI how I could communicate with my future employees being that we are from different, back, back, uh, from different backgrounds and do not speak the same language. The first thing that AI gave me to consider is the geographical and cultural differences. And AI also told me that to ensure effective and open communication with my employees, that I must do the following. First thing that uh, AI told me is to recognize that there will be language and cultural differences. ChatGPT also advised to employ local managers and coordinators who can speak fluent, fluently both languages for there not to be any misunderstanding. It told me to be mindful of their communication preference. It also told me to invest in translation and uh, interpretations, interpretation uh, services so that important documents or meetings are accessible to all employees. Also, to establish or strengthen my local uh, HR department to handle day-by-day -day communication and address employees' concerns. A big part is to provide social uh, cultural sensitivity training to employees who may be relocating or working with a new team. Understanding cultural norms uh, can be crucial to help prevent misunderstandings. It is also crucial for me to familiarize myself with labor laws and regulations in China as they may differ significantly from my current location. A big part as a business owner is to have a good uh, relationship with workers. So here at ChatGPT advised me to schedule regular visits to a new location, meet with employees in person, answer any questions, address concerns, then demonstrate your commitment to the transition. Establish clear channels for employees to provide feedback or, or voice concerns and ensure that these concerns are addressed properly. As a business owner, we must understand that these changes take time. Adapting into a new environment is not easy. So with that, we must understand that new culture and new working environment will be challenging for not only uh, the business owner, but also the employee. ChatGPT then ends by saying, by taking the steps and fostering an environment of open and respectful communication, you can build a strong and cohesive, oh sorry, cohesive team in your new manufacturing location while navigating the challenges of international relocation. I relocated positions as my mom and my tia hopped on a car and they were quite noisy. Um, I'll try to make it short and quick as I am currently being, being eaten by mosquitoes. Doing my own research, I found this article that I found very interesting. It is called Improving Communication with Foreign Employees on the Shop Floor. It is a long article, but it basically states that because of the uh, international uh, labor market and global economic uh, economy, 
uh, the increase in foreign languages are rapidly increasing. The article shows how a language difference uh, could potentially lead to a miscommunication. It also shows me the framework on how to speak to someone who does not speak the same language as you. An example that it showed me of another company was some language barrier projects and how that helps them communicate with each other. The article also states that be, besides the uh, uh, language differences, there's also other factors like uh, cultural differences that may have, a, may have an impact on worker safety. Overall, I found this article very interesting. Though it was very lengthy, uh, I thought it was cool how it showed me uh, companies that made uh, these, these projects for their workers to communicate and to get rid of the language layer. Now, I believe I would totally use ChatGPT's advice as it showed me a lot of great points that were, I never thought of myself. Another idea that I really liked was the translation services. I found that very interesting as there has to be someone who speaks fluently both language, who fluently speaks both language for them to help not only myself communicate to the workers, but for the workers to communicate with myself and it would just it would just be better AI gave a quick overview of what to do uh, to communicate and I really like that uh, and the, the research that I found gave me real world examples just to open my open my mind and just say these things are actually happening around the world